guys, Artem here. Coming back to you guys with a new video. Something different today. We're going to be doing some painting. Hopefully I'll get some more painting videos in. But, you know, oil paintings can take up to three weeks. But watercolors can take only five minutes a day, one week. Let's see how long this takes us. I'm really excited to get into it. We're going to be doing some landscape action. So I'm really excited to get into it. We've got our tape down, so that'll give us a nice water barrier. It also makes the page a little bit smaller, which means it's easier to work with and then less of a dreadful task. And we're just moving. I'll admit that it's been like a hot second since I've used watercolors, but I think we're gonna have to make this a lot thicker. I mean, we'll just try to get the same ratio, same color. And then because painting works in layers, I'm just gonna try and start applying this in the darkest places I see in the photo. It helps to not look at the photo as if you want to look at it at, at the colors they are, pretty much. We're not looking at trees right now, we're looking at a collection of pixels filled in by different colors. And then we're gonna try and recreate those pixels as droplets of paint onto a paper. It'll be brilliant. been a real good time but I think landscapes are like the hardest thing to paint. I know this video definitely won't be called a tutorial. I did I will say I tried really hard. I don't know, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I did. Definitely tell me what you out. Um, you guys can see me do something I'm actually kind of good at. <laughs> I'm, I'm good at painting. I'm just really, uh, not watercolors apparently. Or not nature. I think I have to do like a hundred more nature paintings before I'll, I'll say I'm good at them. That's for sure. If something's not working out and you're like, I don't think this is right for me, don't try to stick it out for 
principle of the fact. Just ask yourself honestly, like, would I have fun if I was good? If the answer is no, then stop putting yourself through unneeded torture. I will say I have maybe let myself tell myself too many times in the past, like, I don't think I'm good at this, so I'm not gonna do it. But I feel like if I thought to myself, if I get good at this, I think I'll have fun, then I would, you know, engage with whatever it would be. I try that with video games and try it with other things. Just like uh, cooking. I actually went to culinary school for a hot while, a year, year, and I enjoyed it. I really did, but I didn't in particularly enjoy not making. Like I don't want to cook when I don't want to cook. I just enjoy it because it's fun. To which I do cook. I would love to share that world. I feel like that requires a clean kitchen it's on the red, which I feel like for any normal human that would be difficult for, so I'm not gonna lie, that would be difficult. How you guys like this house? I'm, I'm kind of really uh, enjoying it. I think I enjoy painting shapes and things a lot more than I enjoy painting nature as much as i love looking at nature i'm like how <laughs> you know I, I i don't i don't know if you maybe not maybe it's not painting maybe painting's not your thing but if you guys ever like think of something to do and you're like ah I'm just like not very good at it, like me and painting nature, but you still like really want to do it, like me and painting nature. Do you do it or you don't do it? Like how do you feel about the whole process itself? For me, I think it's become a habit of not doing things that I haven't been good at in the past. Like I think there's certain skills that you build as a human, like you build the skill to be good at video games and I just haven't done that. Or you build the skill to be good at baking cakes and muffins and I have done that. Um, but what about like if you want to build the skill and it, like you do find yourself wanting to like learn a new instrument at a crazy age that's not when your mind's still moldable and malleable or to learn a whole language instruments and languages and just skills all together you're really supposed to learn them as a child skills are definitely better learned at a young age but i would love to hear any stories you guys have about if you learned a skill at a older age and then you took that to a crazy place and now you're really good at it but one thing that i wasn't always good at surprisingly is writing funny enough coming from a freelance writer i actually was in special classes when I was in elementary school because when I was young I was like I'm gonna be an artist they don't need to read why do I need that skill in my life but then I you know obviously learned better and they still ended up putting me in these classes because I wasn't the best at it you know I wasn't at the same level as the rest of my classmates were which was like fine for me at the time I wasn't the most distraught about it from what I remember. Mostly I just remember learning how to separate words into syllables and like look at them sounds instead of words. Kind of like the same thing that I was saying earlier. Pictures, you know, you look at them like a collection of items. You might have a harder time painting them if you did as more of a collection of colors because if you're looking at them like colors, then you're just kind of painting colors. You're not worried too much about like the shape or the stress behind like making everything perfect. Does this hill look exactly the same as in the picture? No, because watercolors are very frustrating. 
It's the exact same thing of reading. Uh, you're looking at just a big collection of sounds and vowels that go together and create something. And I ended up becoming really um, into reading for a short while there with books like um, Fahrenheit 451, Brave New World. I also liked novels that were like philosophy, like Arthur Schopenhauer. I read some really crazy weird things when I was like a young teen. Um, in high school, learning my, my way around the library. Yes, yeah, so I eventually got a lot better at reading and writing, and here today I'm writing as a profession. Like, I would have never seen myself doing that. You know, my original question, have you guys ever done anything like that where you were really bad at something? Like, to the point where you had to take crazy special classes in my instance? Not crazy special, but just like crazy, crazy instances where life turns into something you just don't imagine ever. Those are always fun love to hear whatever you guys have to share. Of course, you know, my brain always turns it the other way. If you guys haven't tried something that you've always wanted to and you haven't because, you know, you just like, ugh, just, I'm not gonna be good. Then, you know, suck that right up because if you want to try and you're just nervous because you're not gonna be good, then you're never gonna be good. I might be the hundredth person saying this in the whole world, but there's not a lie behind it. You won't get good unless you try to be good. Well, same goes for me painting this grass over and over and over again. Is it fun? I don't know, at this point I'm kind of painting grass over and over again. Not that fun, but I want it to look nice, you know? I'm trying to get that grass color. I said it might take more orange than I thought, thinking it might take more blue, more yellow. <laughs> Is it, are we just gonna look at it and be like, hmm, remember that time I tried to paint nature and it's just a glorious blurb of green? Mm. We had fun. I'm really hoping that you guys enjoyed everything. I really want to add color to those windows because like black, you really shouldn't have straight white in a painting. The straight white doesn't exist in nature. I want to attempt to give this house a little bit more life. Mind me, this is repaint this entire house real quick. Here we have it. Just took the tape off. It looks really beautiful. There's no um, no leakage anywhere because put it down nice and tight. I'm really happy with how it turned out, even though it doesn't look exactly like the picture. It still looks like a beautiful cabin in the woods, all tucked away. Like, uh, anyways, I'm really glad that if you guys are still at all the way at the end of this video, be sure to check out the other ones that I got. Otherwise. Catch you on the flippity doodad, my mommy family. I never know what to say. I'm just so excited how beautifully crisp these lines are. It's very satisfying. All right, have a wonderful day and week and weekend. See you on the flippity doodah next week or next month or just like soon. Um, yeah.
Leon Lush just liked my video. Thanks, Leon. I've been watching your videos for a solid year plus. LOL, hell yes. Glad you're enjoying it. Thanks for watching. Glad you're making them, Leon. I could not get enough of them. Anyways, back to our sort of YouTube page.